Hi guys, so um, day two of this um, knee recovery vlog. Um, woke up about half an hour ago. Um, one of the really annoying things at the moment is um, this thing that I was meant to be given to put over my leg so I could have a shower um, didn't actually fit. My leg was too long. Um, so they had to order in a new one, which means that I've been having to wash myself with these which I'm sure you can imagine is not the most effective way of washing yourself in the morning and uh, probably means I absolutely reek um, but you know it is what it is we're getting a new one tomorrow much longer so should be able to shower tomorrow which I'm really looking forward to um, yeah sorry yesterday was a bit of a dull one it was more of an introduction um, those of you who didn't read the little bio underneath, basically um, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis normally is I, I'm a rugby coach, I'm a community rugby coach for England Rugby. Um, so I go around to schools and clubs and, and try and help grow, grow the game basically. Um, and I was really enjoying it, uh, but I also really enjoyed playing so um, I, I'd found a local club to play for and was really enjoying that too. Um, had just, you know, started to make headway into the first team, which was which was nice and rewarding. Um, and then obviously this happened, but you know, um, a new challenge now to get through. So um, I'm currently just uh, icing my knee on the uh, little game ready machine. Um, well, this thing is bloody expensive. Um, it's like 300 quid for the month, I think. Um, so, a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of money spent on this. Um, to try and get me, me better, so I kind of have a responsibility to use that um, as, as motivation. So, yeah. Um, got... The, uh, got my girlfriend coming to see me today which would be nice thanks dad um, the other thing that's really good is you get really good service when you're injured um, so parents look after you and bring you cups of tea and stuff it's really nice um, <coughs> yeah uh, what I might do later is uh, show you some of the exercises and, uh, and show you what I've got to do um, as part of like my early stage rehab um, once I've finished icing, um, this machine actually is really cool. It does um, this. The program I'm on it does half an hour ice, half an hour off, and then half an hour ice again. And it compresses, and it's got sensors in it to tell you how much to tell it how much it needs to compress, and if it's compressing too much. So um, yeah, really clever little thing. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, one of the things we're uh, we're. Uh, we're looking at now is kind of my eating habits um, and and how much I need to watch what I obviously not being able to move around much um, I'm literally allowed on my feet for five minutes every two hours effectively um, so obviously not getting a lot of exercise not burning a lot of calories so we're having a real look at, at my diet and and what we're gonna plan for that uh, to try and get some healthier food in so I'm not chucking on pounds um, I'm expecting to put on a little bit of weight anyway um, but uh, the main aim is to put on as little as possible so that when I'm back ready to to start the proper rehab I can start losing it um, and continue with that healthy eating kind of get it into a habit I guess and, and become second nature so um yeah, that's one of one of the really big challenges. Uh, but again, feeling good today. Got a positive mental attitude and uh, got got the work to do today. And uh, and um, I know that there's going to be days where I'm going to find it really hard. But at the moment, um, I've had lots of support from my mates and and, and for people from people that I know. Um, and 
it just kind of pushes you on I think it helps you stay positive so that's what I'm trying to do at the moment um, stay positive you know keep working and uh, just enjoy being waited on by my parents I guess yeah um, they're not too happy about it but I've got to do it. <laughs> um, so yeah what I might do is later on show you some of the exercises that I've got to do I'm not sure if I'll, I'll do that today or tomorrow um, tomorrow is going to be a challenging day because it's going to be my first day at home on my own while my parents are at work um, and my sister's at uni um, and my girlfriend will be at work as well so <clears throat> I've got a lot of new challenges coming up especially tomorrow um, figuring out how to get my brace on and off um, my brace by the way now I thought the ice machine was expensive but this thing this thing is ridiculous um, but you know it does help um, basically the purpose of it is to push my tibia forward um, so basically when I dislocated my knee um, as I said in the last in the last video it hyperextended um, and the surgeon who is an incredible incredible person um, said that you know he didn't want to test how far my knee had gone back because he had seen how bad it was so um, I've basically got a little bit of slip there so the the brace is holding my tibia forwards in place so that you know it can heal in that position um, and I'm not going to end up with you know a hyper extended knee it doesn't mean I've got lots of rules to follow as far as my, as far as my knees go though um, and not you know I'll show you them when I have to do my exercises um, but yeah this is a uh, last day no second day out, out of hospital post-op number one and feeling pretty good feeling pretty strong feeling feeling like I'm getting getting to grips with this a bit and uh, and yeah um, I will see you guys on the next video